Hi, I'm the Morelander and this is Morelander EDC. Now, I'm sure everybody on this channel knows that my passion is bags, but after bags, it's the double W, the wallets and watches. Uh, they are the items that really do get my pulse racing and today we're going to look at something from uh, a company from the US who is a, a lifetime fan and friend of the channel uh, and that is Pioneer Carry and the Ion Bifold Wallet. Now I've had a few uh, um, wallets from Pioneer Carry so what I thought today though obviously you know we're going to have a look at this maybe some information on a giveaway at the end but also we'll have a look at some I mean I'm looking down there because that's where I've just put the other stuff but uh, we'll have a look at some of the other uh, wallets that you can get from Pioneer a uh, Pioneer carry sorry and how they compare to this one so what I'll do is as I usually do I'll turn the camera around while I'm doing that if you like this content at any point or even find it madly amusing then please feel free to hit that like button and subscribe that would be awesome but for now let's turn the camera around so we can have a closer look at the ion So here we have the Ion Bifold. As we usually do, we'll go around the wallet, the measurements and that sort of stuff and have a look at the features. Now as far as features are concerned, this is a very simple wallet. I think we live in a world where, you know, there's some of those old fashioned traditional wallets that have got 3,000 different slips to put your cards in. There's a zippered coin section, which, which gets them just fat. Now, I got into minimalist wallets about a decade ago and really haven't looked back. The beauty of a minimalist wallet is you just carry the cards that you need rather than carrying all of those other things, receipts from three Christmases ago, just in case. Um, and an uncomplicated wallet, it's just, I, I just find there's a simplicity to that. Um, and I think if you get into um, minimalist wallets then you'll appreciate that more because you just get rid of all of that stuff that you don't need um, and that, that's what that's what I mean as far as simplicity with um, the ion here now just to give you some measurements um, the measurements actually are as it is opened here so it measures 103 millimeters by 150 millimeters and it's just two millimeters thick um, a lot of that space saving as far as uh, the, the thickness comes down to the material that this is made from which we will we'll, we'll have a look at a little bit more in a second. Um, but as you can imagine that 150 millimeters from left to right as soon as the wallet is closed um, that measurement halves because you know it's it's a bifold wallet. Um, now I did mention so that, uh, as far as different variations now the different variations in here there are different variations depending on color I think as far as colors concerned there's probably about eight or nine different colors um, but the other variations come in the materials that they come in so um, this version here is the um, it's referred to as the 3pn version now the 3pn version or at least the PN is ply of nylon so this is a three ply nylon which is incredibly tough and incredibly durable um, the molecule wallet sorry I'll just reach this so this is the molecule wallet I've had this for about 18 months and it really is like brand new these things are incredibly tough so if you have a leather wallet you know you find after a certain period of time the leather starts to give away just from wear and tear then you'll find that these will outlast leather wallets times 10 because of the materials that they're made from um, now the 3pn version here this comes in at uh, I was going to say 127 grams sorry this comes in only at 27 grams which makes it incredibly light as far as how it is used I've already mentioned you know this is a very simple uncomplicated wallet and that is that it is just a simple bifold and it carries up bet between well actually I mean I say between it carries between six to eight cards but that is the utmost um, obviously if you wanted to you could take these cards out uh, let's take those out and you know if you did just carry two cards then you could put two cards on each side there is a simple slip for that to go into and you can also carry cash in here as well and then that closes up. 
What I found, oh actually, it's just, just to mention, um, in here as well, as far as branding, there is just a simple, very nice Pioneer Carry, San Francisco, California, USA 2016 on there. I actually use this to remember which sides I put certain cards. So I have two cards. Um, one is my uh, personal account and one is my joint account that I have with Mrs. Morlander. Um, so what I do is I, I use this, which is really nice that it, 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 it's just on one side. So I use this, um, the branding here, to remember which side my personal account is and then whatever's on the other side is, is, is the joint account that we share for certain bills. Um, but again, you know, just to show I grab these extra cards here. Um, now, for myself, I generally carry, um, as you know, this is perfectly suited for between six to eight cards. I've found since working from home over the last 18 months, two years, that I have dropped them down to six. Uh, so here is three cards in on this side. You will find that this does take a little bit of wearing in. So when you first get it, you'll find that if you're trying to put three cards in here, it's a little bit of a push to get it in. Um, to get four cards, uh, I have some extra cards here as well, so let's put four cards in. Four cards, again, you know, it does fit in, but you just have to give it a little bit of a push. But what you'll find is, after you've had those cards in there, um, that the material does, it, it, it gives, it it, it does wear in after some time uh, and you'll find that they just get a little bit easier to get in there. You might find as well though, these cards that I have here are ID style cards so that they're all completely flat. If you use the cards that still have, dropped it, if you still use the cards that have those embossed numbers on there, again, you'll find it'll just take a little bit longer to wear in. Um, but mine's worn in perfectly now, uh, just with six cards. See that I'm just not necessarily struggling. It's, it, you know, it, it just grips them really well. I think if you're ever concerned that once you've got cards in here that you might open and then they'll just completely fall out, you definitely don't need to worry about that but they all fit in really nice. As I mentioned, you know, you can put some cash in here, you can either slip it down there, or if you wanted to, you could push it in and push it in that way so that when you open it, you can kind of peel out a note at a time. I have done that, uh, but when you've got cards in there, it just makes it, you know, if you're stood in a queue and you're trying to put cash away and you're trying to slip it in one side and then slip it in the opposite side, it, it gets a little um, fiddly, but you can do it. But what I tend to find is, you know, with three cards on each side, if I slip the cash in the front there, then, you know, it just it just fits in perfectly. One thing to note is you'll find, see if I can make it make the noise. Can you, hopefully you might have been able to hear that. Um, but when you get it, especially when it's new, because of the glues that are in here, you'll find sometimes when it opens, it has like a little creak. Um, but that's just, that's just the glue on the inside here. Um, what you'll find is that after you've been using it um, and it starts to wear in, that that creak will disappear. It's not affected the integrity of it at all. All of the glue is still really hard and fast. Um, none of the seams seem to be undoing, which I found a lot with um, Pioneer Carry wallets that, you know, they put an awful lot into producing these wallets and they, they definitely are there built to last. So what I thought I would do though is, I do have two other Pioneer wallets. I have the Molecule, which you know I've just shown you, and then I also have here the Altitude. So I thought what I'd do is I'd, I'd compare and contrast each of them. Now this isn't necessarily this one's a better and this one's worse. It, I, I certainly don't believe in that because you know everybody has their own different tastes. Um, I started off with this one because I really do love that ultra kind of minimalist style. Um, and I generally tend to find that I go back to the uh, to the molecule quite a lot, purely because it's great to have a card in the front, also a card in the back here, because they're the two cards that are used the most. And then here in the middle, you can then slip all of your other cards and some cash. Um, I'm a massive fan of this very simple um, card holder style. 
but when you compare um, the molecule and the ion and I put them back to back or at least if I put them on this way you'll see that roughly they are the same size the molecule is slightly larger but that's just because of the stitching that goes down this side here the way that the ion is made that the stitching folds on the inside here and then there are just these four stitching points that hold the whole thing together um, so they've been able to reduce the size of this one down slightly compared to the molecule. However, putting them back to back like that, you can see that it's, I mean, it, it's tiny, the difference between the two. Um, but that's the molecule, which is, which is an absolutely amazing wallet. And then we also have the altitude. Now, the altitude is almost, so if the molecule is ultra-minimalistic, the uh, ion is kind of a step between the two. The ion, uh, sorry, <laughs> the altitude is probably closer to um, a traditional style billfold. So in here you have two pockets. There are also two behind each of those. And then you've also got a section that you can put your cash into. Now when I put these two side to side, as far as height and then the length down uh, this area here, because you know it's pretty much the same, that's, that's where you carry cards. Um, then they're roughly the same, but you've got an extra maybe, it's probably about 13, maybe 15 millimeters extra on here. The main reason for that is they could have slimmed this down, but this is designed to have that car, uh, cash section at the back. Um, so really, it's almost traditional style, ultra minimalistic, and then a step between. But again, you know, as I always do, just to try and compare these against some, some other popular wallets that are out there, this is the Talon wallet from uh, Softy Leather Goods. And again, you know, if I put them side by side, you'll see that they are a very similar size. As far as the footprint is concerned, they're a very similar size as well. Whereas this one is that really nice leather um, traditional style. Whereas this one uses those, well, I'm going to say it, space age kind of technology. Then we also have, if you prefer um, something that is a little bit more... Um, harder style then this is the Atenu version 2 wallet and again comparing those against the two you'll be able to see that they are very similar in size. Now I did mention there are a few versions of this so this is the uh, this is the 3PN version but there is also um, another version which is the 10XD. There is a third version which is a soft shell version um, which if you have um, anything like a soft shell jacket is very similar to that material. So it's a little bit more supple um, and just gives a little bit more. But I, um, Pioneer have been good enough to send a second version and this is the 10XD version in Onyx. So if I open this up, and there is, a, there is a specific reason why I haven't opened this and I haven't been testing this one. And that is because having recently hit 5,000 subscribers, this Onyx version is going to be part of the giveaway that I do for that 5,000 subscribers. So when I open this up, um, side by side, oh, I just put the other one down on the floor. Side by side, you'll be able to see that they are, uh, well, they're identical because you know they're the same wallet. But the difference between the materials on this, I mean, I said that this is space age, this is like Thanos clicking his finger kind of space age. Um, so the 10XD material is made from um, a fiber that is, that is roughly 10 times stronger than steel, and it uses an ultra high molecular weight polyethylene. Now, if you're not new to what that is, I've been climbing now for many years, and this is a climbing sling. So these are used to um, fasten points while you're climbing. This small sling here, hopefully, you know, it's th thinner than my thumb. Um, this is rated up to 20 kilonewtons, so that's 22 tons from this one piece, uh, uh, from this one sling here. Um, so these are used to make sure that, you know, if you're gonna drop, this will save your life. This is made from the same material. It's absolutely amazing that these Dynama 
Oh, sorry, just picked that up. Uh, this is made from Dyneema. I believe it's pronounced Dyneema or Dyneema. Um, that this sort of material is put into this. This is the wallet that you will most definitely pass down to your grandkids. Um, looks exactly the same, uh, but it's just got that really super slick um, black look to it. So this wallet here, this will be part of the giveaway for my 5,000 subscribers. Now I think really just in this three selections of wallets, you know, there's something for everybody, whether you're into a traditional billfold, whether you're into a smaller, more minimal style card holder, or maybe something that's in between. I think Pioneer Carry have done an exceptional job of sculpting these three wallets, considering the materials that they use, the fact that they are very light, um, the molecule here, I've had this now for about 18 months and it pretty much is like brand new. Hopefully you'll have seen uh, in some of the footage there. Um, other than, you know, there's just a little bit of dirt that I got on because I, and, you know, I generally did drop it in a massive pile of dirt. Um, it, 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 just, it just cleans off with the DWR coatings on here. Um, and I think they've, yeah, they've really crafted some excellent wallets. And I would highly recommend going on to uh, Pioneer Carry's website so you can see more from the other different styles of wallets um, that there are on there. Uh, and as previously mentioned, the Onyx version of the Ion wallet will be available as part of the giveaway that I'm going to be doing for hitting 5,000 subscribers here on YouTube. Now, I've hit two milestones pretty close to each other. I've hit 2,000 subscribers on Instagram and I've also hit 5,000 subscribers here on YouTube. Um, so I'm going to be doing two giveaways. I'm going to be doing one here on YouTube and I'm going to be doing one on Instagram. So stay tuned. Um, I've got a couple of bits that I need to get in, but once I've got everything in, then I'll be coming and I'll be giving you all information on how you can take part in that. Um, it would be rude of me not to give a massive thank you to Pioneer Carry for sending these um, both versions of the eye on my way. You guys are awesome, you guys are making incredible products. Um, I'd like to thank you for the support that you've given um, Morlander EDC over the years and I certainly look forward um, to future collaborations. So as mentioned, you know, all of the links are in the description below. Definitely check out their um, Instagram and Facebook and website and so on and so on. I'll also leave some of my um, social media links below. As we always do on YouTube, if you have enjoyed this, please feel free to hit like. Don't forget to subscribe with the bell notifications and share this content. That would be absolutely amazing. But for now, stay safe, stay Morelander and stay EDC.